Let me see the Pokemon do it. Oh, We're gonna watch it together. We're yep. gonna like it. Hey, it's Nishi Masuda. To Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the no, Pokemon. No, that's not Nishi Masuda. I thought that was Nishi Masuda. Today, that's Ishihara, though. I would like to provide the latest news him, about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. To begin, please take a look at this video. Oh, here we go. Ricky, Score Bunny, and what's the new one? Not popular. Goki, Score Bunny, and the the orange, the yellow, the water one. I already forgot its name. Hey, the new Pokemon. Whoa, that one looks cool. Whoa! Holy crap, this is awesome! What? What did you do to it? Just be careful with it. Whoa! What the heck is that? What? What the fudge? What the heck? I get to see what this soccer ring is about. These Pokemon were gigantic. Giant Pokemon battles. Interesting. Hello. I'm There's a new Jim Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first oh, Sobble, partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokémon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokémon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie! Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. 
There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wulu. This Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, Stop messing which with is my treasured chair, by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur. Gossifleur? The flowering Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnought, the bite Pokemon. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town mm, he or interesting. she has previously visited. Interesting. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, Whoa, it looks a lot it like Rosalia. Eldegoss. As you can see, looks there a lot are now like Rosalia. Small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. Okay, Growlithe. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. Wild Area. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. I mean, it seems cold, but I'm not too interested. It is giant Pokemon. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key What's to becoming on, a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Watching the direct. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, 
in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps I'm doing fine. giant form for the entire battle. This. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. Are you... If do you have a Switch? manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid Battles oh, do you also get a switch? vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some the that can trio. only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid Battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Interesting. Max Raid Battles really features strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch to. system's local wireless you have functionality, Nintendo Switch, don't tackle you, Danny? these battles yeah. with friends in yeah, person, and experience the excitement what? together. You can also connect with I other players it. over the internet I to enjoy Nintendo playing Switch. with other trainers from all no, around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. Why? Don't want to get it broken. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll well, encounter Agent on your adventure. Uh, this guy is the greatest Agent trainer in the Galar region, and also the current really champion. Insane. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon Leon. battles are so yeah, widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the Leon. adoration of trainers across the region. <laughs> it's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. Hop dreams to one day become champion, just like his elder brother, and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Their abundant Sonia. wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon Gyms in the Galar region. Pokemon you and your rival gyms. will need to take on the Pokemon Gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These Gym Stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be That Dynamax. Avatar looks so weird. The that Gym Avatar also looks have so extremely weird. powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert oh, Milo. But he looks so weird! This gym leader is what all about heck? enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon. And you will have to overcome his Why tenacious does he look like a freaking strawberry? He, his, he looks like a strawberry. Look what is going many on? more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. Oh my gosh. We've shown off quite a bit today. But I have one more video I would like you to see. Please take a look. One second, this is almost over, then we'll play that song. Oh shoot, legendaries. Oh shoot, they're battling.
The two Pokémon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokémon of the Gala region, called Zacian and Zamazenta. Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokémon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield. There are many more Pokémon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon Sword November Pokemon 15th Shield will be available on November 15th, 2019 as a global simultaneous release. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. A double pack. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. A double Thank pack? Thank you for watching. Interesting.